previously on Let's Play Clive Barker's Undying. What have you done? You will pay for touching mother. Lisbeth, you have no idea what you've turned into. Why are you haunting your family so? I know what I am. I seek vengeance. I was cheated by Jeremiah, and he will die to finish what was begun. You have awoken the past, but you don't know how to stop it. I will rend your bones and serve you to my pet. And now, the conclusion. Welcome back, Burning Dog fans. Oh boy. This is one hell of a boss fight. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, this is not the right way to go at all. Hmm. Okay. I remember silver bullets worked well on her. Oh. Well, they worked okay anyway. How about no, Scott? Actually, if I actually put them in the gun, that would help, you know? Oh man, where are these guys coming from? I don't remember there being a hole. I don't remember there being six of them. Oh right, they can do that too. Ah! Back off, lady, get your own sandwich. Hang on, that's exactly what she's trying to do. Having herself a Galloway sandwich. I seriously considered shooting your mother's corpse there. You owe me. Oh, hey, I'm dying. Great. Let's do that. No! Move! Don't breathe that, kids. You thought Grandma's house smelled, house smelled bad? You ain't seen nothing yet. Uh, right! Yeah, we started the music by doing that. Yeah, none of this is gonna do shit against Lizbeth. God damn it, give me that thing. Hm. Your timing is off today, Lizzie. Normally drones in there and kicks my ass while I'm flailing around trying to get the amplifier. Okay. So as near as I can figure out, I need to get her to that glowy state. And then go crazy with the scythe. That's, that's basically the entirety of my plan at this point. Evil Scrooge suggested that I could make it thing, things stick by taking her head off. And, uh, Fatal Racing Driver basically backed up my plan. Didn't she ever tell you not to throw things? Oh, wait. That's right. Oh, that was low. Now I, really, now I would really have pissed her off. Jammed. Huh. That wasn't staticky at all. Would you stop ducking so I can stop aiming in your crotchal region? Oh, for fuck's sake. Whoever made the rock so accurate, so damaging.
only there was a spell that turned my mana into energy shields. Oh, Christ. Oh, fuck! And we're running. I do that a lot in this game. I say that a lot. I make that reference a lot. It's, uh... And yet, I don't know that anyone would actually get it. Given that it's a reference to the fucking Tom Green show. doesn't seem to appreciate the, uh... That's better. The, uh, silver bullets. Now, I don't intend to save scum this, I just really wanted to see if I was supposed to destroy her corpse and that would make her weak or something. You gotta say, given that she's been dead for like 25 years, Evelyn's body is in surprisingly good shape. What the hell am I doing? I can't do damage over time. I need to know when she starts glowing. Ah! Oh, that's a really awkward angle for that. Great, so I'm dead and I'm a pervert. Oh. And we're off! Get over there. So did Lizbeth put them in there? Uh oh. And that's regular ass buckshot, I was careful about that. Well I do suddenly wonder if you could burn those motherfuckers. How silly of me to assume that I could run through them just because they were reduced to a pile of dust. Oh yeah, and the book. I need to get the book. Oh, and the other thing, too. So every time I close in on her, she destroys me. The closest thing I had to a plan after that was... I don't know, just keep fucking pressing the attack? Where the hell did you come from? Ow. Did I not click, uh, finish off that guy I knocked down earlier? I never dodged both of them before. Unless she was so far away, you know, that... So it sounds like... Ow. Not only did the, uh... Did the scythe make the, the monks, uh... Homicidally aggressive. It turned them straight up dark side. No. Just in a 
sounds of things, they were sacrificing innocent people and murdering anyone who tried to leave the monastery and I mean, you'll notice they didn't even say anything whenever they noticed, uh, Patrick. It's not like, trespasser, or, you know, kill the non-believer, or something. Look, look, I can do it too. Fuck you. me in a most distracting manner. Huh. I didn't think ectoplasm would even make her flinch, but... Damn it! Dead again. Should have seem to get way more aggressive when that happens. Oh wait. Excuse me. This party is for two. It's like that country song everyone loved like ten years ago. Look at the book next loop. No. That was that guy. I need that to filter poison. Static problem seems to be gone. I guess it just comes and goes. Four amplifiers by the heavens. Oh no, don't look don't strafe into there, man. Okay, let's do this. Forged metal grace. People, a few people had great suggestions for uh, shotgun names. Ow, ow. ow. Oh. My good friend Keegan suggested. Well, he didn't so much suggest as he mentioned that. In Fallout 4, he built a custom shotgun and named it Big Bang, which is a great name. Darthinianable suggested, uh, Mr. McKilvey. <laughs> which is, uh, goofy in exactly the right way. I don't know if you've noticed, but, uh... Entirely because I find it amusing. I'm in the habit of naming my shotguns after, uh, a woman's first name.
You know, like the one in, uh... In Doom 3 was Kelly, for example. No, that was the double-barreled shotgun in Doom 3. Now I named, uh... This shotgun, Sarah, I believe it was. But, uh... But I have to admit, I got a suggestion so amusing to me that I think I'm going to have to re uh, change my mind and use Sarah in some other game. Especially since I don't think I even mentioned it once in the last session. Like, I mentioned it once in the one before that, but not this one. Or, not that one. The Halloween one. Nice boss music, by the way. Very... panic-inducing. Very tense. Oh. But I admit it isn't as tense in these places once I clear out some of the, uh... No. Oh. Oh, where are you off to now? Why am I following you? This is a terrible plan. I don't know why I have this out all of a sudden, but I don't remember changing it. Ooh! Rest in peace, Lizbeth Covenant. I was definitely not there before. <gasps> Haste! Fucking stand on the corpse? Haste. A spell with a superb effect. When used, it gives me a limited burst of speed and agility, like a big cat racing along the Serengeti. I found that the spell may prove critical for overcoming obstacles or retreating from my foes. Whoa. I went, I'm pretty pleased with how that went, honestly. I wish I hadn't chopped off her head in pitch black, but, you know. I hope it was visible in uh, YouTube resolution. At least I got a clear look at the body, right? Thank you, Evelyn. Using manual saves enough. Now, what if I'd left something behind? Watch this! My pets do him, I call you! Break his bones and claw his eyes clean! Ah! How dare you! I will gnash your heart between my teeth and drink deeply! That 
ritual will be complete. The king will arise and the very world will tremble. The family is to be reunited! You were saying? Wow, that was a whole new kind of messed up. That's where I'm going. Lisbeth's death. I did what I had to. I battled Lisbeth with all I had and narrowly escaped with my life. Even in death she haunted me. As I carried her severed head to the cliffs, she cursed me still in demonic tongues and belittled her own end. She said I cannot stop what has already begun. That the family will be reunited. That the king will arise once again. I cannot accept that my efforts are fruitless. I must repay my life debt to Jeremiah. I will do what I must. Wait, four? Huh. Well, now! Rest in peace, Lisbeth Covenant. She hasn't been completely herself since she was a little girl. Suddenly worrying to myself that I didn't get the, uh... And that was me cleaning, uh, hair out of the, uh, laser well of my, uh, mouse. I was suddenly worrying that I didn't get the, uh, amplifier. Before I sign off, I just wanted to mention, Fatal Racing Driver made the suggestion that I call this shotgun... Candy! Because in addition to this game, Clive Barker also wrote the script for a horror movie called Candyman. <laughs> that is such... That is so apt that I can't not take advantage of it. Back to regular bullets. Maybe I'll call this one Grace. <laughs> because of the journal entry. Either way, Elizabeth is dead. And I don't know what lies in the future. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Clive Barker's Undying. <laughs> Later!